YouTube! Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to my altered composition book, which I'm working on a lot, it seems like. I don't know. However, it's early morning, so you will hear me cough <coughs> and sniff, because that's what I do. So, what did I want to do? Oh, when I'm done with this, I want to try... I'm going to start out with this one because I can put it aside so I can see if it even works. See, I'm jumping right in here. I had the idea like in the night when I was sleeping and I wanted to do it and I wanted to get up early, which I did. <laughs> so, you know, only crazy people would get up at 5 a.m. when they don't have to go anywhere, you know, like me. I don't have to go to work or something, but I'll get up at 5 a.m. Because that's just the time I get up, you know. And then I want to go craft. This might be a disaster. I don't know. <laughs> My glossy accent has something in it again. There's like a little white. I believe it's because I stick the needle in. And then I'll get this little white piece in there and then it comes into the tube here and it does not want to go away uh, i just don't like that dear glossy accent i wish you would be different no right away it wants to go back into the tube and i don't know how to get it out i had it the other day and then i squeezed and squeezed and then a huge blob came out so what I want to do is write on the words I stuck down everywhere. I want to put glossy accent on it to make it shiny. <laughs> okay. I think it's going to look better. Once. And I want to do this with the other words as well, but later so they can dry actually. Kind of like that. I don't know if you can see or not. I had to turn on my light because it's early and it's getting darker in the night, um, in the mornings, you know. I would wake up at the early morning and it would be like bright at 5 a.m. already and it's not anymore. Alrighty, but now onto the next page. So this one I did yesterday and I will put some on the words as well. I think it's going to look better. I'm also considering putting Mod Podge at this part, but I do not know yet. So, what I do know is that I want to work on this page. Back or front? I'll actually work on the back of this page. <laughs> I can't move stuff around because this is like, once again messed up, I have to clean it up again. <coughs> I work a couple times and then I have to clean it up. So, oh, look, I took two. I have like a bunch of those I got at um, Joann's when they have their super sale. So it comes out to be like 13 cents or something. I got a bunch. And I want to stick it down here onto this page. So uh, let's find something. A writing instrument here. <laughs> I don't like to measure. This one seems to not to write. I don't even know. No, it does. Okay. Now you do. And I will cut myself the piece of paper I need. Oh, I'm always opening the arm of this thing and I don't know why. It's just like, I just always do. Okay. Ah. Uh. I I have been really sick. I have been really sick. I had a meltdown yesterday. Um, those of you who watch my channel, you might know that I lost the mark. Oh, it's right there. You might know that I have HS and it's a very painful condition and I have a flare up and I have had it for a little while now. And it's just not healing and hurting me so badly, actually. Oh, you know what? I I could have just done 
I could have saved myself a piece, but whatever. Oh my God, I said whatever, I don't need to save paper. Yeah, however, I'm, I'm hurting and it's hard for me to walk because it's in my groin, I guess. I don't know how you call the area. It's on my leg and the very upper part of it. So I don't need to distress the whole lower part because I'm going to put something on top. But I do want to just trust three sides of it, kind of. And this paper is thin, so I want to pay attention that I don't rip it too much because on this page, I don't want to rip too much. Gee. That's kind of my favorite right now. <laughs> you know? I think like my journal is coming together pretty well. I like it. That's the most important thing, isn't it? When you like your own craft. Okay, so I'm going to just drop a little right here. And I know I just I just distrust it there, but it's kind of not fitting onto the page and it's kind of like I don't know, too straight up there, and my pages are not that straight. Of course, I'm going to just trust the whole thing. I love it. Look, it has exactly the colors I want. You know, it has this blue, which I like a lot, and it has some pink, and then there is wood, and that's what I was looking for. I wanted something with wood but not just wood if it makes sense i don't have to distress the lower part either just because i'm going to oh look that looks pretty just because i'm going to stick something on top you know so i have to clean my mat too but i don't think it makes any sense right now this edge is definitely too straight I don't like it. Okay. All I'm going to do is just stick it down to my page. Let me get my gun. Okay. I learned to like it. I mean, I never just liked it because I just got it, but I think it's all right. Except for, oh, now I said you are all right and now you are going to do that. It wanted to slide off my... Thing here okay let me see wow it does it wants to slide off this even though I put it on top of it like really good oh well it wants to slide down but it never did so maybe I am just too careful or like you know maybe I should just have some more trust in that everything sticks to Okay, clean up time, clean up time, I know that. I'm also going to put some normal paper glue. Oh, it's almost gone. Oh, that's so good because I only have 10 more left I have to use, <laughs> use up. I will put it on the very outer part just because I'm not that good with the ATG yet that I can actually get into the outer parts of that. I don't know. I believe it's not just me. Okay, I have to line up the upper part. That's the only part that I really want to be where it needs to be because the lower part I will cover up, so that's not a problem. Ooh, pretty. So pretty, isn't it? It's very pretty. And I did take the page, which I have like three or four pages stuck together. You know, so it's, this one will be sturdier already. I will just distress this part to kind of, you know, make it look better. I guess. Yeah, that's good. I do not like straight. <laughs> I can't do straight, first of all. 
<laughs> but I also don't like when something is stuffy. Okay, well, let's glue this down really good. It's getting a little bulky now, you know. <coughs> and I'm pushing around. Okay. I also got another piece of paper, and this looks like that, and I think it goes perfect with this wood piece. And I want to make a pocket. And I also got this pocket, which I want to stick on top of my pocket. And then later on, I would like to slide a, what you call it, tag in there. I'm thinking right now how high I need this to be. I don't want it to be like all the way here. I think that's a good height. And then the pocket can go right there and then, okay. Looks like a good height. Looks like I need my pan to make some measurements once again. <laughs> okay. Ooh, don't forget. You will need it a little bit higher. So it will go a little bit lower. I want to make a decorative edge on that. So it's going to be a little lower than that. Ah, that's fine. Now, I just need to find my mark. There it is. It's so hard to see, especially when, you, when I have the light that I have right now. I always have it for videos, right? And it's still not bright enough outside and this light makes the video bright so you can see better but to me it kind of blinds me a little bit so I can see even worse than I do normally <laughs> okay so that's that's the piece that will go right on top here doing the same exact thing to the piece. You know, I would actually also burn my paper, but... <sighs> I should not be playing with fire, you know. I was a fire child. I don't know if I ever told you that, but I did not have a very, very good childhood when it came to fire. I liked fire. I liked to watch fire and I didn't burn down anything, <laughs> but I could have because, you know, I would burn old newspapers when my parents weren't watching me, which happened a lot, actually. <laughs> Because they had to work, right? So they weren't watching me and I would burn newspapers, old newspapers. And no, I would not burn them outside in the backyard or whatever. No, I burned them in the middle of the living room. And once they were done burning, I would just shove everything in like behind the cabinet. I don't know how we did not, you know, burn down. Because that was so stupid. But I was a child. And I didn't know. I just wanted to watch the newspaper burn down. <laughs> Very bad, very bad. I know that. Oh, I forgot to distress you. <coughs> aye, aye, aye. My parents, oh my God, they tried to stop me. One day, my father put my hand, he didn't really burn my hand, so he didn't. <laughs> it was enough for him to scare me. He turned on the gas stove. And he pretended like he's going to burn my hand on top of it. I was so scared. I was, I remember. <laughs> he didn't hurt me or anything like that. That was his last straw, I think, because I was really bad burning stuff. I would burn, if I would find matches anywhere, we didn't have lighters. So I would just steal them. And I would make fire somewhere. I was really young. However, it scared me so badly, but it didn't scare me out of burning stuff. <laughs> oh, my poor parents. You know. I'm just glad that I did not like burn something down. That's really I'm just very glad. 
Okay, I need to make a pocket out of... Oh, what am I doing? No, no, no. Oh, good. Remember, see, I talk too much. Way too much. Where's my... Just maybe it's time to clean up here a little bit so I can ouch I can actually find stuff okay which one am I using I want the Martha Stewart one I want to punch a border and I lost my Martha Stewart punch I know it's greenish and I know I showed it to you just the other day so it must be somewhere in this big pile of stuff i'm going to find this real quick there it is oh now i was stupid and i just trust this part let's hope it's still going to work out with my fine share Hopefully, dear punch, can you work with me? Yes, you can. Oh, that's so nice of you. It works with me for now. For now, sometimes this punch does not work. It doesn't. It just gets stuck, and I don't know why. But this time, it was perfect. This is my absolute favorite punch ever. And it's going to stay this way forever. And just recently, and I might have even ordered that, <laughs> I went online and I looked, like, you know, for new dyes or whatever. And there is a dye which cuts exactly the same. So, I might have ordered it. <laughs> I don't know, it was, I think, a dollar or something. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Now I can use the double-sided tape so I can make a pocket out of it. I'm going to go only on three sides, of course. You know, if you cut it a little longer and then you actually fold the sides, you can have a pocket which opens wider, if it makes sense. But I don't really need this to open wider. I just want this to be a pocket in the back of a pocket. Just like this. Look at that. And then I have this one, which I want to stick down here. Let me think. So. All I can do is actually to stick it down from those sides. Now I wonder, ooh, I could stick it down here like that and then have another pocket right here. Oh my God. This page is going to be pockets after pockets. And I'm pretty sure, yes, there it is. <laughs> took this because I think it's so cool. I want to put the shoe onto my pocket. I think this is the prettiest shoe ever. I got this, I believe, from my bestie. I'm not sure, but I believe so. Okay, now onto the pocket. Of course, of course, right? There will be distressing of a pocket. I don't know where I got these. In one of my holes... I'm pretty sure I showed it probably from Tuesday morning because that's the place I go. You know, I don't think they had this at Dollar Tree because that would be the second place I go to. <laughs> I'm just going to go around the whole thing a little bit. And I will open it and do the same thing just because... You know, when I do this and then later on I open it, it's going to look funny. Where is the opener? Anyways, is this one? Yeah, I think so. Yep, yep, yep. Well, that look 
<laughs> if I don't go here, that's, this is how it's going to look. But also this string is super white. And that's not something I want. Okay. Let's distress this part too. <laughs> so it's not <laughs> like that. That look, looks funny. It's going to stay this way. I believe it was this way already, like in the paper. Because I don't think this little bit of distress ink that I put on there did that. But that's fine. I'm just going to do everything anyways. Flap. Here. And there. Okay. A little bit on everything. Okay, a little bit on the back, just because a part of it will be visible, I guess. I will just go around the corners real quick before, before I try to figure out what will be visible and what will not be visible. I will just, you know, oh, this is getting like, I don't know, how I, did I use it all up or what happened to it? Okay, okay. This is good. Uh. Okay. Alrighty. Let's cut out the shoe. I love the shoe. This one has like four shoes. It says women always land on their feet. True. True. I believe. But I only need this shoe. So. Uh, I will try and kind of fussy cut it. Kind of. Just because I don't want that much of the blue part of the napkin. Oh. The lower part of it came off already. Okay. And not fussy cutting it too much, just like that. And I will just glue it down right here. I think it wouldn't look too bad, but I also think that it would look better if I get a touch of some other. Oh my God, this is blue. A touch of blue onto this pocket. Just because there is blue in the background and there is also blue where the shoe is. Oh, that's looking so good. I think that made everything even better here. A big touch of blue. Okay, and I'm also considering a touch of this violet, I think it's called. I'm not sure. There is the right one. Okay, I need to stick them underneath, otherwise I'm going to lose them all. Let's get a touch of reddish on top or violet. Now this, I will not go like all over the whole thing. I'll just go a little bit more on the edges and then a little bit to the side. Okay, I think that looks good. That looks much better. Let me take this off. Genius person who, you know, like did that first. Genius person. Now, <clears throat> Let me stick the shoe down right here using my Mod Podge and my Mod Podge is almost gone. So I need to figure something out. Oh no, I forgot my brush. I washed my brush and I forgot to get it, take it back. Do I have another brush? What do I have? Oh, oh, oh. I need my brush. Okay, there it is. Where 
where's this shoe going? Right, right there. Oh, oh, oh no! Stay straight, shoe. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Let me try it off real quick. It is not completely dry yet, but you know, this is how the shoe is going to look like. Where's my page? Right here. Right here is my page. And I will have my pocket right there. And what I'm thinking about is, does it make sense to glue three sides or two sides? Look, uh, let me move it. And then have this one as a pocket, this one as a pocket, and this one as a pocket. Or what? <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm just going to glue two of the sides. And then later on, if I really just like it, I can always go back and glue this part. And I can glue the whole part just because it's on the edge here. So which, which ones am I gluing? You know, I will forget because that's just how I am. Especially when I talk to you, I forget half of the stuff. I forgot already. I want to try and get as close to the edge as I can. So the only thing I really don't like about this, and I wonder, no, it looks like I pushed it down all the way, is that it is kind of coming off. So if somebody has a tip for me here, please let me know. You see that? I don't like that. So yeah, if you have a tip, let me know. Okay. Okay. And now I can basically stick whatever I want, wherever I want. I can go into, I will stick like a tag or something, maybe a big tag or a big picture in this pocket. That would be cool. This came off already. If this keeps coming off, I'll just use my um, art glitter glue. So I can stick it in here, but I can also stick something in here, you know, and of course into the pocket, which is a good thing. And right now I'm considering, because I can see Mod Podge, you know, going all around this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'll just Mod Podge more. Because it kind of looks weird when I just have this part there. I'm not going to put a lot because there's nothing I can, like, I need to glue or whatever. But it kind of looks better. when I put it all over this thing, I'm assuming, and I think so. And I will put some onto the flap. Also, it will make everything more sturdy because, you know, it's Mod Podge. Not much, not much, but better. I need to find something how to make my own Mod Podge, definitely. So, now this is Mod Podge, so I'm not going to do that, but, Turned out pretty good, my page, didn't it? And I can put something here, and I want to make some tabs and stuff like that. I have no idea what else I'm going to make. But I do have two pages here, which I stuck together. So we will see. There will be at least one more there. And, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, of course. Leave me a comment. This one dried. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Look, it, there is glare now. So I'm probably going to go back and do it on the, all of the words I used. So there is that. Like I said, if you liked it, thumbs up, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm loving this. It's, it takes my mind off of all the pains and aches and, you know, like 
stuff like that. So that's something good to do. Um, yeah, that will be it. I will continue a little later. I need a break anyways. And I will see you in my next video. So 